hi guys it's been a while since i uploaded a video i'm very sorry it took me a while in the last video we've learned how to properly keep a better fish in the easiest and simplest way now in this video let me share to you how i cure my better fish external parasites or external problems like velvet ick or white spot or fin rat or fungus those are the four common external issues that your betta fish will really encounter or you will encounter in keeping a betta fish other than that it's not really common or it is rare in bettas and by the way thank you guys for the support we are now 900 plus subscribers almost 1k thank you so much this is all for you guys and this is all because of you thank you so much for the support anyway now let me demonstrate it to you all you need is three things number one a plastic container number two is a one liter of water you can use stock water or water from the faucet that's fine and number three our secret cure salt do not use the iodized or the processed salt the very powdered salt don't use that one use this one you can buy at the grocery store you can use the rock salt but you can also use this kind of salt just don't use the iodized okay one liter of water equivalent to three spoonful of salt mix that one now let it settle for 10 minutes then you can use the solution already 10 minutes later here is our solution so for example we have this betta fish as you can see there's a fungus on her head but that's already healing because I already salt bath her last time see? but for demonstration I want to treat her again So let her settle there for 20 to 30 seconds. Again, 20 to 30 seconds. That is okay and that is normal for your betta fish to float like that. It's fine. That will kill all the parasite, fungus, or bacteria that stick to his body or even to her gills. Okay. And transfer your beta to a conditioned water just like in our proper beta keeping tutorial that kind of conditioned water do not ever transfer or put your beta fish back to where you get them because that will just uh, infect them again so transfer them in a clean disinfected water and container so let your beta fish settle there She's recovering already. So, see, she's fine. So, she's back to normal. A week after, she will fully recover from whatever diseases that sticks to her body. Now, if you have a community of betta fish that is infected, then you can also salt bath them together, or apply this to them all together, not just one by one. This also works. You can also apply this to at least one month old betta fry. Given that your betta fry grew well, so at one month they are around juvie or maybe one inch, more or less. Again, white spot or eek velvet fin rat fungus fungal infections injuries this is very effective now you might ask about dropsy um, dropsy is a kind of internal issue i'm not sure about it but i think it hits the liver that's why your betta fish will really bloat unfortunately there's no um, medicine exactly for that yet but 
try to apply it also to your betta fish with dropsy it might get well or it might not at least you have tried something so that's it that's how easy and simple it is and how cheap it is and also very effective almost instantly it's worth really the risk just for your betta fish to get well now try to apply that to your betta fish and let me know if it is effective or not comment down below and also don't forget to hit the like button notification bell and subscribe button if you find this video helpful and also share this channel to your friends who also keep a betta fish if you really find this you know channel helpful or entertaining at least so that also would be a really help for me um, so thank you so much I think that's all soon I'll give you an update of my barracks we'll make another video for that so continue to comment down below what do you want to see next I know you all want to learn about breeding betas or taking care of the betta fry we'll get to it soon after we finished all those basic topics because we need to learn how to properly take care of betta fish first before we will dive into breeding we need to deal with the basics first before the breeding part so i hope you find this video helpful thank you so much for watching stay safe god bless and happy beta keeping